Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and the Tangent Map has just been updated to include a brand new look and a lot of great new features. So I'm going to go over everything with you so that you can take advantage of all of this new functionality. So let's get started. So I'm here on the Tangem homepage. If you haven't heard by now, Tangem is quickly becoming one of the most popular cryptocurrency wallets out there. It has a special backup feature that does not require you to write down and back up a seed phrase. So when you purchase a Tangem wallet, you can get a three card set or a two card set and your complete crypto backup is contained on the cards. You've got your primary card that you use every day and then uh, one or two backup cards. Now, this is a great solution because it does not require you to write down or manage a seed phrase. And there is no way that you can be tricked into revealing it or inadvertently revealing it to anyone else. So it's a great and secure solution for managing cryptocurrency. Also, if you want that flexibility of a backup phrase, there is an optional backup phrase. But I wanted to talk to you today about the new Tangem app. Uh, they've just announced it on their Reddit page and elsewhere. And there's some really cool features in there that I would like to go over with you. So let's jump in. So I'm running the new Tangem app now. Uh, I have my iPhone set on auto update, so it gets automatically updated when new versions of apps come out. But uh, you can always go straight over to the App Store uh, and pull up an app and update it manually if that's what you need to do. So the first thing you'll notice about the new app is that you no longer can toggle between wallets by tapping up here in the corner. The way to toggle between wallets is simply to swipe sideways. So you can see here that I'm managing a couple of different wallets in my app. Uh, this particular wallet is based on this card. It's one of the older cards. And then this other wallet that I've got here, you can see the black cards here in the picture, uh, is based on this card, which is kind of sleek and cool. So you can manage multiple wallets by simply swiping left and right, which is really cool. Now, in addition to that, there's a new look and feel that you have the option of using if you would like to use dark mode. And it's basically just based on your phone. So if you put your phone in dark mode, the Tangem app can adapt to that. So if we go over to my settings, go into dark mode on my phone, uh, the Tangem app adapts to that and goes into dark mode. Before that, it always stayed bright. So now you can enjoy dark mode in the Tangem app. Also, there are new features for organizing your tokens. You still have the manage tokens down here, uh, which you can use to add and remove cryptocurrencies that you want to manage. But you also have this organize token that you can use if you scroll to the bottom. And you can move the cryptocurrencies up and down in the list and arrange them the way you would like to. Also, you can arrange them by balance if you want so that uh, the cryptos with the highest balances always kind of bubble to the top, which can be useful for some people. Also, you can group your cryptocurrencies. This group button will group cryptocurrencies of the same chain together. So as you can see, I've got Ethereum here at the top, uh, and then I have Tron just below it, and in that group is a Tron-based Tether token. Uh, if we go over to my other wallet, uh, you can see in this wallet that I have Chainlink. So when I go to Organize Tokens over here and hit Group, now I've got my Chainlink tokens grouped with my Ethereum tokens. And you can move these groups up and down as well in the list if you want to. So it's a really nice, easy way to manage the cryptocurrencies so that you can see the ones that are most important to you and you can group together cryptos that are related to each other. Another thing that they've added to the wallets is a transaction history. So when you tap on a crypto, you can see the full and detailed transaction history in and out of the wallet. 
uh, whatever crypto you've got a balance of, you can see your transaction history. So that's also very nice. We can go over to this wallet and you can see the transaction history in my Ethereum wallet there. So it's really nice. Also, I will add that the uh, buy, sell, and swap features are still available depending on the crypto. So if we go into Bitcoin, you can see that I have buy, sell, uh, in addition to send and receive. So if you want to buy, uh, you're going to have to sign up for a third-party payment processor. Um, in this case, it's uh, Mercurio. And you'll have to go through KYC to get that all set up. Same with sell. Uh, if you want to do a sell, then uh, you would uh, sign up for MoonPay. You can also swap cryptos without having to sign up for any kind of service at all, just from within the wallet. Uh, if we do that, uh, it would have to be on chain. So in the case of the Ethereum chain, if I go in here to chain link, you can see that I have this exchange button and it takes me into the swap feature. Uh, I can swap Chainlink for Ethereum right within the wallet, and, and you can do that on the other chains as well. So like if you want to swap on the BNB chain, you can do that right from within the wallet as well. And that's always been around. They have that functionality. I just wanted to point out. Now, a lot of people have asked me whether you can stake in the Tangent wallet. You can do that, but not within the app itself. You would have to use Wallet Connect to connect your Tangent wallet to a third-party DEX that allows staking. Uh, but the uh, crypto would still be secured by the private key on your Tangent card. I'll put a link to that article down in the description below, which gives you a lot more details about how to use Wallet Connect to stake the cryptos that you're securing with your Tangem cards. So that's it. Check it out. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.